Hello again, everybody, and uh, welcome back to another episode. Another cool video. This is this is a good one. We just uh, did a deal earlier. Um, I haven't even been back in the hotel for 20 minutes. Anyway, so saw this online um, on all this stuff and couldn't pass it up. So without further ado, let's get to the games. So first we have a action set box for the NES. Now here's the cool thing: it literally has everything inside of it, and I'm not do I don't have a tripod or anything, so this is gonna be kind of, you know, styrofoam. The only issue it does have is it has the flap that's supposed to be on the side here has been ripped off, but he kept it anyway. It has all the uh, manuals and everything like that, all the inside stuff. The cool thing for me that, that made me very happy about this deal, about this box, is the fact that I actually have the action set. Um, I have the zapper, I have this, the controllers, I have the game. <laughs> I got it, I got that action, the action set from a deal from the summer from uh, another gentleman in Regina. So I'm gonna put you over here. Now it is in decent shape. There is some folds to it. You can tell there's some wear and tear, but besides some of the folds that it has in there, sorry for the lighting hotel, you know, um, it's actually in, in the ripping of the thing in the corners, it's not too shabby. Like, you know, it's 2022 almost. Uh, you can't be perfect, right? So, so here there's some games. Now the originally was supposed to be 31 games, but then we added some. And then he gave me some for free as a, like he said, like as a Merry Christmas bonus. So I'm going to do this for a second here. All right. Now I'm going to pull them off screen, put them onto the table. That's how we're going to set it up. First we have, we actually have the gray uh, zapper and all its glory still works. Makes that cool noise everyone's scared of when you, when your friend's brother pointed at you thinking you were gonna die. Um, nothing much to it. We've all seen a zapper. I actually have the red one, so now I have both. Uh, so this will have to go over. All right. All right. So and then next we have a game genie. I'm gonna try and find a box for this. You know, it's got some obvious wear and tear on it. it still works though. Game Genie book. No cover, no back cover, just pretty much the insides from front to back. <laughs> I'll have to move the MacBook cool on here. Okay, I'll put this off to the side here. Alright, first game here, now this is the cool thing about this, is this guy gave me, um, the, uh, hold on, sorry about that, you know when you make videos you need to be more well prepared, <laughs> I'm going to do this sitting down so we can all see the quality, alright, so the cool thing is I got all the Mega Man games for NES here, so, we got the uh, little ripping up there and label. Actually, we're just going to pull these all out here. Mega Man 2. This one is in pretty good, decent shape. And label. Oh, look at that, hey. I did not expect to see that. <laughs> Someone bought this from eBay. We have Mega Man 3. Not bad shape. And label there. A little bit of tear on there. <laughs> and no, I'm not promoting these guys. I've never even heard of them, so. It seems all the Mega Man games are from the same eBay store. Mega Man 4, so I'm going to have to take that sticker off. So, yeah. 
Mega Man 5. See, this one doesn't have a sticker. Ooh. This is a clean, clean copy, though. Look at that. Not even a little bit of dust in there. Uh, all right. Oh, hold on. Whatever. Doesn't have to be in a particular order. Worry about that later. Mega Man 6. A little bit. Of, you can see that there. All right. Then we also have Rampage. This one was one of my favorites. Uh, I had Rampage for the Sega Master System. And I actually enjoyed thoroughly. Uh, I, I tried, when I was a game, kid playing games, I always tried to do things uh, outside the realm of what you're supposed to do with them. So uh, We also have another Batman copy. This one is not too shabby. Actually, I think the other one might be better, but. And this, whatever this is. I have no idea. Mystery game. Uh, game was licensed for Nintendo to play on Nintendo. It's Sammy. We'll figure it out, but you can't really sell it, so. Now, this one... Or not this one. Okay, we have DuckTales here. Now, this is interesting because this is... Or is it the... He said DuckTales 2, isn't it? Yeah, DuckTales 2. This one... Uh, okay, this is the regular one. You know, blah, blah, blah. Capcom. Looks good. Here's, here's the gem, though. Here's the gem. The European version of DuckTales 2. As you can tell by the NES-DL-That's France, right? Cannot be used on the Mattel NES versions. Da, 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 da. So this is a rare treat here. The backs are a little different too, but yeah, that's that's pretty dope though. So meaning I can't play it at home anywhere. Oh man, I haven't seen this game in forever. Pictures of Bayou Billy, man. Bayou, Bayou, Bayou. Konami. Yeah, it's got some scratches and stuff, but it could still. Here's one that. Okay, Crystal's a huge fan, a big fan of this this guy, this this franchise. She doesn't know this is in here, so she's gonna be kind of. Actually, the next two games she'll be kind of happy about. Friday the Thirteenth. It's been a long time since I've even touched this cartridge. Let alone been in the presence of it. So, oh, there we go. Well, I just kind of accidentally promoted you. <laughs> and the next one, Jaws. Yeah, I've never played this game. I've seen it. I've had friends. Oh, more of that. I've had friends had that. Okay, I did get some Super NES games. But we'll get into that after. Okay, and. The non-Mike Tyson Punch-Out. This was after they dropped the license uh, with Mike Tyson. They only had it for a year. Got rid of it. So then they just turned it into Punch-Out. I did have a copy of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out back in the springtime. And it sold for a good amount. So, Which I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for. Because I shouldn't have sold that. One of my personal favorites, Double Dragon 2. I love this game. I did have a, a complete in-box copy of this. Back in 2019, but, you know, stupid, stupid situations that I got into. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm selling this copy. Uh, or I might get a complete unbox and just keep that for myself. Not sure yet. One I've never seen. Base Wars. Sorry for the moving of the camera so much. Like I said, I don't have a stand or anything, so. And I'm also trying to get the gleam so you guys can see what I see. In terms of, because the gleam for me also tells the wear and tear on it. Because you can tell, like, when you look at it. See, there's that. But if it's all smooth and stuff, and glossy with no anything, then, you know, it's a good, good shape. You want the label to be in good shape. Alright, another game that I haven't seen in quite a while, and I sold back in the summertime, is the Gold 
cartridge of Legend of Zelda, the original. Uh, it has its days. It's actually more fair than the other one that I had. But it's still, you know, you can't be perfect, right? Here's a good one that I haven't seen in a long time either. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Capcom. Yeah, eBay. We're going to have to get all those stickers off before we sell it. Here's a classic <laughs> Excite bike, but it's got this all over it, so we're going to have to see if we can get rid of that. Uh, someone tried to wipe it off, but no, I'm just, and then still some more stuff, so we have our work cut out for us. All right, and then we got, see, here's the bonus about getting that box, right? Is we have the game with it, so the action pack set. Everyone's seen this. This is the most one of the most commonly seen and bought uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, combinations. We all saw this in the last video, which I actually took yesterday. Uh, Ninja Turtles, but this one this one seems to be in a little bit better condition. Um, if I ever get more duplicates of games and you guys want to see side-by-side -side comparisons, just let me know in the comments below. And I will do my best. Castlevania. Another classic. The original, too. This one has uh, seen its fair share of game time. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but look at all this discoloration in here. Like, it's been handled a lot. So... But that means, but I'm going to test them when I can, make sure they all work. And a better condition, way better condition Contra than what I had yesterday. This one will definitely be a good seller. People like that game. Original Donkey Kong. For the NES. Yep. And back in the day when they had these, the black labels with the interesting labels on the end, these were actually part of the first set that came out with the NES before they started making like the graphic style uh, front. They would have the big lettering. This is the classic label. So that's pretty dope though. And you did see a sneak peek at what's next. Ninja Turtles 2. I had this one also in the complete box and sold it back a while back, but labels kind of lifted on the side here. And it's nothing we can't fix. All right. We got Tech Mobile. Oh, move out of the way. This one is uh, seen, a, seen a good rough day or two. Super Mario Brothers 3, my friends. Everyone's favorite Mario game. <laughs> Definitely mine. I also had a complete inbox. Actually, and I saw the pictures, I had a, what they called a super left bros, where the bros was on this side, not on that side, which was made it very rare because it was a misprint. Uh, it did it on the box and the manual. I had that copy and sent it f and sold it for far less than it was worth. I'm such an idiot. I know. It's like, Dave, what are you doing? All right. And then we have, and every time I get a Simpsons game, it always has crap on it. Every single time. The label is, you know, needs a little bit of love. Get these stickers off if I can. Oh, this is old too, eh? It was part of a rental store from back in my day. Robocop. Let's see if I can get that off. But this, yeah, this is bubbled right up. It's uh, the plastic. Yeah, it's really ratched up. So I'm not sure. Might be able to clean that up and see what I can do with it. One of my other favorite ones, River City Ransom. Ooh, I love this game. This is what made RPGs fun. For fighting games yeah that's yeah I don't know we'll see I might just keep that for myself here's one I haven't seen in a while RC Pro-Am 
Perfect in there. Looks good. Another Metal Gear. Uh, we have one in the store right now, which I think is in way better shape than this. Or about the same. No, it's better shape. This one, you can't tell because, you know, videos don't do it justice. But this is actually faded. Uh, it has seen its fair share. But other than that, the shell itself is pretty good shape, so. A couple more, and then we got our Super Nintendo games, and then we're done with this video. So, we have the gold Micro Machines. This one, this is in top shape. It was apparently AJ's. Uh, <laughs> not the AJ that I know. And they also have these cool little, let me you can see it. It had a little switch. It was pretty much like a dip switch. Yeah. But yeah, micro machines, hey? Eh? <laughs> Handwritten. Yeah, no. And this next one is actually a pretty cool one. I'm excited for. I didn't even know that this was part of the bundle, but it is now. The original Metroid. The original Metroid. Original. I know, I'm a little excited. Good label. Very good label. Very good copy. Yeah, there. <laughs> it's perfect in the front. There's always got to be something in the back, right? Very good copy. And Cobra Triangle. Never heard of this game. It's a boat game. Pretty sure it's that look down... Watch the boat. All right. So I have three Super Nintendo games that came in with this. First one, Super Metroid. This is a good, decent quality version besides the scratches on there. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right. This one I have not seen in person ever, but I have seen it. Uh, like, you know, ads for it. I've seen it on YouTube videos, but Castlevania 4, hey? For Super Nintendo. Look at that. Look at that label. Yeah. And then, last but not least, a game that I used to own and someone stole it from me when I was a kid. And I'm very excited to have it back in my life, even though I'm selling it. Uh, Mega Man X. This was one tough SOB game for me. Um, <clears throat> but it was the introduction of Zero. I think it was his name, Zero. But yes, there you have it. There is the games from that. And it also got a cool box. like, And then that box. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, every... Make sure to check out uh, the page that'll be in the description below. Show some love. Come see us on Facebook. We're also on Instagram and Twitter. And come check out the store. Because these games, on top of the games you saw yesterday, um, are going to be... Well, all the games that we can clean are going to be put up there. All the games, like the Micro Machines game, uh, you can't sell that. I mean, you can, but it will be like five bucks. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. And happy new year. I'm pretty sure it'll be the new year by the time you see this. So, peace.